Hey team, how are we doing? I'm going to be talking about the strength bias in the next phase. We're calling it Factor 50 because we've laid it on and we're going to layer it on thick some more. Um, so what you can expect on the strength bias is you're probably going to feel like a part-time weightlifter for this phase and the next phase. Um, obviously a lot of us want to get strong with the barbell so there's going to be a lot of work with squats, snatch, clean and jerk in this next phase. Um, starting to get a little bit more specific, okay? <clears throat> so the plan for this phase is to peak the raw strength, in particular the squats. On the snatch and the clean pulls, um, we're really kind of ramping up that intensity more on them. Not quite peaking them, but we're starting to push towards um, them kind of top figures in and around your, your max on those. For the actual weightlifting work, obviously because we're going big on the squats this phase, that's going to take a lot out of us. So it means that we want to cap the weightlifting just so we're not super smoked all the time. All right. So when I say we're capping the weightlifting, and um, when percentages are programmed, they're not programmed over eighty-five percent in this phase on the Friday. There's a chance to max out, go big on a complex, but I've kind of written it so that it, again, should probably cap you in and around 90%. Hey, if you do hit heavier than that, great, it means wrong for a big PB, but the idea of this phase is that we're going to be doing more just like snatch, cleans, jerks with no pause, well, with less pauses now, especially in the snatch and cleans, um, doing more reps making sure we're hitting smooth reps all the time is kind of the focus of this phase. And I challenge you all not to miss a lift for this whole phase. I can guarantee if you manage to do that, come the next phase, you will smash your one at max, okay? So, where the thing will be capped? I've put enjoy some repetition, so, Obviously a lot of things that we're doing in CrossFit, you're changing it all the time, like it's different every week. Um, but it's quite hard to know how exactly how you're progressing. So in this in this phase, over the first four weeks in particular, there's gonna be quite a few things that I'm repeating, and because we're repeating them, you're gonna see exactly you know how, the progress week by week. Okay, obviously you'll probably have a dip maybe one one or two weeks, but from week one to week four, okay, you should see a gradual kind of increase of, of all your numbers um, as we build that intensity. Okay, so enjoy some repetition. It's great for that immediate feedback. Again, good motivation to see where things are going. So let's go into a bit of a weekly setup and how things are going to roll. So the main squat days are going to be Monday, Wednesday, sticking with squat, and the Saturday. So on the Monday you're going to have a three rep max for the first three weeks, okay? So straight up three rep max every time. Bear that in mind, so because we've got a three ma threat max of three weeks, you've got an opportunity to one, um, establish a new three rep max, two, have a good idea what your minting is. So what I mean by that is, guaranteed one of them weeks, you're probably not going to be feeling super spicy. So it'll be good to see what your lower number is, and again, whatever you're kind of hitting for a three rep max, Okay, on your lower end when you're not feeling great, you gives you a good guide of what you can roughly clean or should be able to clean, um, you know, on a, on a pretty on a pretty iffy day as well. Okay, so that's the plan for the squats on Monday. Pulls again are going to be in and around percentage wise, like 90, 95, 100 percent of what your clean max is. Just dialing in good technique and getting used to pulling that bar off the floor. Okay, so that's the plan with the pulls there. I put waves as well. So you're gonna have some snatch waves, you're gonna have some clean jerk waves. 
the great for feeling like hitting snappy reps, hitting clean reps, because when you come around to that second second wave, um, everything just starts to feel like sharp because you've gone gradually heavier, drop the weight back down, and then you repeat that for the second wave. Again, there's not much volume of the weightlifting on that day. I know I've said waves, but you've only got two waves to do. It should be a little bit of a primer for them squats really, so you should come out that, that weightlifting work with tons of energy, ready to hit them squats hard, hit, ready to hit that free rep max hard, okay? So bear that in mind as well. Don't send the waves. It says you can increase the weight, but if you know it's gonna take some wind out of your sails going onto that squat, let's kind of just hold back some, okay? So on the Tuesday, we've got some snatch technique work. So we put refining sessions in there for you already. So what I'd suggest is, obviously we've got some snatch technique work on the Tuesday, and same again on the Saturday. It's a similar thing, no hook grip, no feet snatch. So it's gonna teach you to really finish your pull, but also to get under that bar very quick. So because we've got them two sessions there, I'd suggest on this Monday doing the clean refining work in particular, okay? So obviously, if you've got bags of time, do the snatch refining work and do the clean refining work. If not, just go for the clean refining work, okay? As well as the snatch technique work, you're gonna be able to a three, dropping down to a two rep max on this. Again, like I said, it's gonna be a no hook grip, no feet snatch, your feet start in catch position and they can't move, is the idea of that. I already explained before, it helps you to finish your pull better and also drop under the bar. I've added some notes for a bit more detail of that in the program as well. As well as that, we've got some single leg work I've kept in some rear foot elevated split squats. Um, again, just to get some anterior accessory work, more specifically for the quads. I want you to stay as upright as you can. And I've also added a pause in at parallel. So when, you're, when you hit 90 degree angle here, you're gonna pause two seconds before going all the way down and then coming the, on the way back up. So the idea of that is, is that we're mim mimicking that catch in your split jerk, it's roughly, it wants to be roughly the same angle. It's probably gonna be a little bit deeper, but it's in around the same angle, but it's gonna strengthen that position there, okay? So when you've caught the bar, you're used to being able to pause before, you know, returning. But like I say, when you do that pause, you're gonna pause on the way down, you're gonna go down further and then come all the way back up. You're gonna do, five reps on each leg, build into a five rep max. Again, we'll be repeating that for the first uh, three to four weeks, okay? And again, I expect that weight to increase from week one to four. Going on to the Wednesday, so we're, you're actually gonna squat twice in one session, very unusual or not. But this first squat is gonna be a one rep max one squat. I said one rep max, heavy single one rep max basically wants to be a little bit of a primer and just get you used to squatting heavy as a skill again, okay? So bear in mind, coming onto that week four, that's the week that we kind of really want to, you know, we're going to kind of peak the squats. If the, if the iron's hot though, strike, okay? If you're feeling really good and you feel like a one rep max is on, go for it, okay? Like I say though, it's a bit more of a primer for this jerk. So we've got some pause jerks. You're gonna do three reps, one with a pause in the dip and the pause in the catch. Second rep, pause in the catch. Final rep is just gonna be normal, no pauses. Um, you're gonna do some working sets at 70% and then you're gonna build up to a max of that complex. Jerks seems to be a big weakness for a lot of people, so that's why I wanted to put particular emphasis on this Wednesday session, just on jerks, okay? And again, let's have this jerk refining work in there, okay? So do your front squat, do the jerk refining work, then go on to do your jerk, okay? After that, we've got some back squats. First rep's gonna pause in the bottom, just so it's kind of capping the weight a bit. 
focusing on good positions. Again, this day is like almost a bit of a refining the swaps as a skills, okay, as well as obviously the jerk. Um, but going through the weeks, again, we should be able to build the weight that which we're hitting for them. So it's going to be a build to a three first rep pulls, three seconds in the bottom. Then we've got some snatch pulls. You're going to do uh, Lasher style. So I don't know if you've seen Lasher, Tokyo 2020 uh, champion, uh, gold medalist in the 109 category. He got one, was it a 230 snatch and then a 270 clean and jerk. Anyway, so he finishes snatch pulls, staying right over the bar so he places extra focus on the legs in the pull. If we can really use our legs in the pull as much as possible, obviously we're gonna get way more weight so rather than you know using our back. This last thing we want is our bum to shoot up, okay? And just remove the legs out of the equation. If we're staying over that bar a bit longer and really focusing on finishing that extension of the legs while keeping that bar close, it's gonna be a game changer. Fridays, we've got big Fridays coming up in this phase. So you're gonna have a snatch complex to max out in. It's only, it's, it's gonna be two snatch deadlift, one snatch for the first two weeks and then we're gonna change it. And for the clean and jerk, it's going to be clean pull, squat clean, front squat, jerk. Again, it's probably going to cap you in around 85, 90%. You're going to have a chance to repeat that over a couple of weeks. So again, I'm looking for you to build each week if you can, okay? After you've maxed out in both, you're going to have a five rep max push press for the first couple of weeks as well, all right? So we're transferring all that strict pressing work that we've done then we've obviously got some higher rep push press work. Now we're going down to a five rep max, which again is really going to pay dividends uh, on your jerks. On the Saturdays, you've got some similar snatch work to the Tuesday. Again, it's going to be no hook grip, no feet, um, but more percentage work rather than building to a three rep max. Okay, so just good clean reps on that part. Again, should feel a bit like a primer ready for the back squat waves. So then back squat waves are going to be one rep for 90 plus and then your second set's going to be between 80 85% three to four reps. First week to four reps and then we drop down to three as we go through the weeks. After that you've got some posterior accessory work. We're going to go for good mornings. Okay, five reps. Can be tricky for some people going heavy on a good morning but Great exercise, forcing you to keep tension, okay? And one of the best um, posterior chain exercises out there. So, forces you to keep good back position. Again, it's gonna be more specific onto the pulls and to the clean snatch going forward, okay? So that's the weekly setup. So we, we're gonna go for kind of how it looks week by week now. So first week, that's going to be the baseline volume roughly going forward. It's not going to change that much from that over the four weeks too much. On that first week, it's probably going to be the lowest intensity as well of the whole phase. All right. So make sure you've got room to grow from that first week. On the second week, the volume is going to stay the same but the intensity is going to creep up a little bit. So we're creeping it up on the weightlifting work. Again, through percentages for the most part of that I'm going to give you. And hopefully yourself will be able to increase the, the numbers on the squats. Again, it, it'll depend on how you're feeling. Don't worry if you can't build each week, that's fine. As long as we hit some new PBs or, you know, we're happy with what we're hitting, perfect, all right? Week three, we're gonna have a little bit of a reload on the accessory work, so whatever we've hit for like our heavy fives in the previous weeks, we're gonna drop down to 90% of that um, and just hit a couple of sets. A little bit, there's a little bit less volume that week as well. You should be able, again, because of that volume drop, you should be able to push things a little bit more on the squat work. So again, that squat intensity is gonna stay high for that third week. Then we come on to week four. 
you're going to build big in this phase, so there's a, a max back squat and the max front squat that week, and I really want you to try and send it on that fourth week. So that's, this fourth week is the big one. Okay, so bear in mind the whole phase. Obviously, it's going to say go to a three rep max or go to a one rep max on, on this week. But bear in mind, we've got this for four weeks, and I really want you, if you, if you can, to try and set yourself up so on that fourth week, that is your biggest week, okay? So again, the volume will drop a little bit more. Well, it's quite similar to week three, but it'll be lower than what that baseline is. And again, that I'm hoping that intensity, you'll be able to kind of keep increasing that. I'll add this in a second, but. Mm, doo -doo -doo. Week five, so then we start to shift towards the weightlifting side of things. So we'll repeat the squats, it's time to pass it over onto the snatch and clean and jerk more. So that's the plan for week five. I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that yet, because you'll probably be pretty small by this week five. After that, we've got a deload, okay? But that week five will start to give you a taste of what's to come in the phase after, okay? Other things to know, I've not added it on here, but keep on top of your maintenance. Big one, that. Get on top of your mobility work, get on top of your stability work. If you manage to stay injury needle free for, this, for these next two phases, you'll be hitting huge PVs, like I said before. Um, so yeah, keep on top of your maintenance work. Spend 15 minutes before you start your session, making sure you warm up properly and everything. Do a bit of a cool down with some stretching after if you you tend to get you know particularly tight in a certain place. Don't overdo it though. Just kind of like I say, it's maintenance work. It should keep you in a good place. Other things to note through this phase, um, other than the strength work. So we're switching things. Before we had two aerobic sessions on a Tuesday and a Friday. One is now going to become a threshold session and the second one's going to be aerobic. We're going to make the Tuesday session threshold based because on that Tuesday, the rest of the work is mainly upper body. Um, so it shouldn't affect any of the strength work that we've got in the program too much. And the session on the Friday is aerobic. Make sure it stays aerobic because you've got a big Friday to send after that morning session. If needed on that session, you could even put it in on the Thursday um, if you feel like you want to sleep and not a Friday and ready to send it. Um, with regards to gymnastics, we're going to carry on building some strength on the gymnastics and start to build the, compass the capacity work now. Um, expect to see this in formats where there's a good amount of interference, so we're kind of gradually building that volume and your capacity, um, but not through doing far loads of gymnastic reps. If we're going to do it in a bit more of a clever way, uh, to start off with. We've also added new workout options, so there's going to be an elite, an RX and an intermediate option and that means you can tailor the, the program to you a little more, okay? So if you're good at handstand push-ups, you might go for the elite. If you're not as great chest to bar, you might go for the intermediate, okay? So you can kind of choose things depending on you and how, what your skill level is like in CrossFit, okay? So again, if you're not great at gymnastics across the board, you might just go intermediate all the way, perfectly fine. I tried doing one of the sessions today, from next week, and I went for the intermediate, and it was still pretty hard. Um, so yeah, so don't feel like you can't do the elite stuff, I'm not getting anything out of it. If anything, you'd be getting just as much out of doing the intermediate stuff if that's, you know, to your skill level, okay? And that is it, I think, for the most part. Um, if you've any questions, drop me a message on Fitter. Either you can put it in the strength by Fitter. You can put it in the strength by community groups, or you can um, just send us a direct message uh, on Fitter as well, just between you, you as the athlete and us as coaches. Obviously, I'm aware of Super Saturdays, uh, and this doesn't kind of fit in with Super Saturdays for this phase. I've written some notes in, so you can work out how to 
um, switch things around so you can still do Super Saturday um, weightlifting if you want to, um, but get the strength working from the strength bias. So, yeah, that's it for the most part though. Um, enjoy, enjoy the repetition, like I said, for a, for a bit of a change. Um, and just keep on top of that maintenance work and you should be flying. Enjoy guys, catch you soon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>